Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to the platform of Pharmapedia with the new video in the assessment of antibiotic stewardship. So in this video I am just going to discuss the right answers or show you the right answers of the assessment. So from the question number one, do not start antibiotic without clinical evidence of bacterial infection. The right answer is true. Broad spectrum antibiotic use promote C. difficile infection. The right answer is true. Unnecessary or inappropriate antibiotic prescribing increases the emergence and spread of resistant bacteria. The right answer is true. Take appropriate culture before starting the antibiotic. So your answer must be the strongly agree if you are a pharmacist. So you should know the basic reason behind this. Always use IV antibiotic for 5 days before switching to oral. False. Which antibiotic can be used in patient who has had an anaphylactic reaction to penicillin? So here you can see the right answers. Gentamicin, cipro, clarithromycin because these are not belong to the penicillin drug and does not sharing the same structure as that of the penicillin. Which of the following are not effective in preventing the emergence or spread of antibiotic resistance pathogen? So here you can see the right answer, treating infection for a longer duration. Which of the following is not a current example of clinically important antibiotic resistance? So each of the students choose the option A, B, C and D separately. But the right answer is penicillin resistant. Staphylococcus pyrogenes that is group A strap causing the throat, sore throat. Which of the following conditions have become harder to treat because of antibiotic resistance? All of the above. Which of the following conditions should generally be treated with antibiotic therapy in patients who are not immunocompromised and are not pregnant? So the no student can even give the right answer. Here you can see the right answer. Cellulitis. Which of the following is not a way that a bacterium can acquire antibiotic resistance? So the right answer is acquiring resistance gene from its host cell. Which of these antibiotics have useful clinical activity against pseudomonas that are cipro and septacidine? Which of these would be suitable to treat the gram-positive cocci isolated from a blood culture? So you can see the right answer. The next question is which of these drugs are penicillin or penicillin resistant? So here you can see the right answer. Basically all of the drugs that having are sharing the same structure of the, the backbone structure of the penicillin that is a beta lactam are penicillin related and the family of the penicillin. So here you can see phenooxymethyl penicillin coemoxiclib because it also have the penicillin augmentin meropenem amoxicillin floxicillin benzyl penicillin tenzo and tezocaine so here are some feedback of the student okay thank you so much for this feedback take care and allah